So we're up for the uh, next video on, uh, well, where's this go? Oh, somebody will know. Somehow this is going to go right there. Hmm. Steel likes to uh, thread theirs in. Husqvarna likes to, well, press them in from the uh, oil tank side, which is pretty easy when you've got... Da, 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 da. Half of one sitting right there. So... How this works is you go in through the oil tank and you press them in. Now, when it's complete, eh, everything goes through that hole. So, how do you do it? The answer is so much simpler than what you're thinking. Okay, so the hole's here. And what you do is you go cut your line off some kid's fishing pole. Yeah, still got the hook on it. And you actually thread the line through the hole. To where the stud goes. So we come around this side. And we're going to stick that right in there. Oh, see, went right in there. Just going to keep pushing it in. Well, let me get you over here. Yeah, keep pushing it in. Probably even go sinker deep. Just like that. Okay. Now at the other side, well, you've got this end of the line. Now, let me tie this in a knot around the end of the bolt and I'll show you the rest of it. All right. So now we got our line tied around our bolt. We'll just throw that bad boy in there. Just like that. Then we'll grab the line and pull. Don't pull very hard, you might break it off. We're gonna look inside the hole. Well, the bolt's standing up. So now we'll go to her side. Look straight down in the hole. Man, you can almost see it. And there you go. Studs through. It's a whole lot easier than people say it is. And I've not found any good videos on YouTube about how to do this. Now, of course, I didn't take that off some kid's fishing pole that was off of mine, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny. And the next step as far as getting uh, getting these studs pressed in is this right here. You get you a spacer, put you a spacer in right there. And then you take your wrench, if I can find one. Take your wrench, you know, run it up all the way up to that uh, spacer. Take your wrench, you 
kite and a little nut. Do the same thing on the other one. Well, I'm trying to hold the camera in one hand and I left my tripod out there in the truck. So, you just keep wrenching. And getting them out's no problem. You just take a hammer and just beat them. They just pop right out. It's like nobody's business. And you can just steal wrenching. And that's how you tighten them up in there and draw them. You press them in. Press the studs in. Guys, give me a thumbs up, uh, like, and maybe uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.